This is the player zone we have with us. Center back, Super Eagles player, plays for CD Leganes in Spain. Kenneth Amigo, you're welcome. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. He's a friend of the house, by the way. Um, so, uh, Ken, you've had an exciting career uh, from your days um, you know, coming through Chelsea. Of course, that's not where it started, but from Chelsea up until this point. Um, would like to know what the motivation was for you from the beginning to get into football and to where you are right now. Uh, I think um, football was everything I, I knew how to do. I wasn't intelligent enough in school. <laughs> you know, I was always playing, um, get paid for it, but I kept playing. And at the end of the day, my parents realized that's the only thing he wants to do. Yeah. You know, and the motivation is to always give my best to you know, work hard to be able to provide for myself and my family. Yeah. Uh, so in uh, 2013, which was uh, like perhaps one of the biggest tournaments that we've seen you play, of course the World Cup also, uh, but Nigeria won in 2013 and it was special, especially uh, the game against Ivory Coast. Um, I don't know, I can't say it was uh, man marking uh, between you and uh, DJ Drogba, but we noticed after the game, maybe there were a few things said between the both of you, maybe a pat on the back. Was there any sort of conversation between you and uh, DJ Drogba after that? Okay. Yeah, there was. You know, obviously, he, I told him I was signed by Chelsea. Yeah. But I haven't been there. I was alone still, so he was excited about that and also encouraged me and says I have to work very hard to to get there to play there. You know, and it was very um, for me. I was honoured you know, to to have him speak to me for a minute. Yeah. So um, remember in 2013. You were um, first choice, perhaps, ahead of um, a then captain Joseph Yubo, who was uh, towards the end of his career, obviously. Uh, today, he's a he's a coach. Um, we know footballers kind of like sometimes don't um, want to always reveal what the next chapter is like. But uh, is that a decision you've already made? Um, what Kenneth is going to do after football is coaching, even on that. Uh, <laughs> um, first, first of all, um, I wasn't prepared over him. <laughs> he he played the first game and got yeah, injured. Yeah, yeah. You know, the interim for a couple of days. Okay. Then I was asked to step in, but I don't know because for me right now, I I love doing the getting players to Europe because I know how much good that that does to um, the players, the family, and you know Nigeria as a society. So right now my focus is getting young talented players out there to Europe to, to you know help themselves you know and their family maybe in the future I might you know think about uh, coaching mm. but that's that's not something for me to be talking about now all right um you have one Afghan medal already a gold medal that is um you're thinking of a second uh, of course, Nigeria will have to pass through some of the uh, big teams to get there. But um, what's the mood like right now? And uh, what role, as a senior player, what role are you playing, especially trying to get the young ones who are maybe debuting in this tournament or who's had maybe two tournaments? Um, is there any particular role the coach expects uh, from uh, senior players like yourself? Yeah, of course. Um, he expects us to, you know, keep the team together, which uh, we can do alone by himself. And we have a group of players who doesn't even need um, things to be said twice. You know, they cooperate, and as a team, we are very united. You know, and um, I think the only thing is we've reminded them a couple of times how how big this tournament is and how much joy it brings to Nigerians when we win, yeah. when we won the tournament in 2013. And I want to have that feeling again. All right, um, finally, what is Kenneth Omero's motto? What is like uh, the driving force for you? What's that motivational quote that you hear every time or you speak to yourself every time that gets you going every day? Uh, for me, it's just the message from my mom, uh, my wife. Before it was just my mom, you know, calls me and, um, and, and talks to me before the, uh, before the game, you know. But um, 
now my wife also messaged me, make sure I'm okay. Uh, my family always writing me before games, uh, congratulates me after games, uh, tell me I'm the best in the world, you know. <laughs> so these are things that it keeps me going. But what has it been like trying to, you know, find the both of you playing on the same level? No, I think it's been, I think it's been great, you know. I don't think you were shaky in the first game or anything. I think it's been great. Mistakes are bound to happen, yeah. which is normal in football. But we've covered each other's back, we've had each other's back. And for me, I think we are doing well. And uh, I hope we can continue and improve on, on every game. All right, thank you very much. World You're best. Welcome. I call you the world best. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much, Kevin.